Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for April 19th of 2023. Well, it is titled Auroral Storm over Lapland. So what do we see here? Well, here we see a beautiful storm of the aurora. Now an aurora comes from the sun is actually powered by the sun and it is charged particles from the from the sun that will strike the Earth's magnetic field. Now in this case, it was a coronal mass ejection, a very violent storm uh, on on the sun that expels material out into space. And while it did not strike Earth, uh, it, it missed while well, it missed Earth, it still uh, was enough to create some great aurora from the particles. Now a coronal mass ejection striking Earth directly could be very damaging, especially to electronic equipment that could easily get fried by the intense amounts of energy. However, when it's close, we get beautiful auroral displays like this and the more intense ones because far more particles from the sun striking and here we get to see all of the different colors present. And those are caused by those particles from the sun that strike the Earth's magnetic field and then excite oxygen and nitrogen atoms high up in the Earth's atmosphere. Now the aurora are generally visible at high latitudes. So here we see Lapland very far north, uh, other very far northern places like Alaska and the uh, and Canada are often areas where we see uh, other areas where we see the aurora. However, this one was intense enough to be visible further south. In fact, as far south as New Mexico in the United States. So uh, when you get a very big storm, it can deform the magnetic field, allowing the aurora to be visible to more uh, a greater portion of Earth. So when you get a very big storm such as this, it kind of crush squishes the magnetic field. Normally those particles just funnel along the magnetic field and strike Earth's atmosphere near the magnetic poles, which is why we see these as the northern or southern lights. But when it's enough intensity, it can deform that and that for it can break through and actually cause auroral activity much further south. So very intense storms have actually been seen as far as Hawaii. So even further south, getting down toward the tropical regions, which normally never see the aurora. Now we're likely to see over the coming uh, next couple of years as the sun approaches its maximum of activity, we should be seeing far more aurora as well, because there will be more uh, intense storms coming from our sun. Now not all of those are directed toward Earth, but when they are, we will end up with storms such as the one we are looking at today. So that was our picture of the day for April 19th of 2023. It was titled Auroral Storm over Lapland. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.